Riding on a seven-game win streak for only the second time in American Southwest Conference history, the Sol Ross men's basketball team is making final preparations for a five-game conference homestand beginning Thursday evening as University of the Ozarks visits the Geigo Center for a 7.30 p.m. tip. The Lobos sit at 9-4 on the season, including a 4-1 mark in ASC play entering this week's action against Ozarks and UT Tyler. Saul Ross is fresh off a 78-61 thumping of Beloit College on December 29th in Austin. The Lobos finished at 54% shooting from the field against Beloit College at 26 of 48, including a 6 of 15 performance from beyond the arc. Sully wrapped up the first half with an astounding 68% shooting percentage at 15 of 22. Saul Ross also had an impressive showing at the free throw line, converting 20 of 23 foul shots including a 9-9 performance in the second half against the Buccaneers. Senior forward Caleb Thomason earned his third straight player of the week and fifth of his career by averaging 28.3 points, 8 rebounds, and 2.7 assists per game as the Lobos went 3-0 over the Christmas break. He started the break with 35 points, 8 boards, and a pair of blocks while going 15 for 20 from the field in a 71-64 win at Shriner. That game was played in Seguin last month. Thomason then added 25 points with 8 rebounds and 3 assists in an 84-73 victory at Texas Lutheran and 25 points with 8 rebounds and 4 assists in a 78-61 win against Beloit College. He shot 73.4% at 36 for 49 from the field in all three games. Thomason currently ranks number one in the nation and the ASC in field goals made at 122 of 184 shooting, a percentage of 633. His 287 total season points places him at number six in the nation and second in the American Southwest Conference. Thomason ranks eighth in the nation and second in the ASC in total rebounds at 115 total boards, averaging 8.8 .8 rebounds per game. He tallied a season-high 35 points to lead the Lobos to a 71-64 victory over Schreiner on December 19th in Seguin. Freshman Tristan Lacone ranks second in the ASC in three-point field goal percentage. After 13 games, the El Paso native is hitting half of his shots from beyond the arc at 24 of 48 shooting. Lacone led the charge with the season-best 18 points, secured his third straight double-figure performance in a 75-70 conference victory over East Texas Baptist on December 11th. Well, this uh, win streak is going pretty good so far, but um, we can't get ourselves like we can't uh, be too uh, high on ourselves, and uh, we got to keep practicing hard and playing hard because everybody's gonna be after us. And we have a target on our backs, obviously, because we are on this win streak. And uh, these two games are big for us because it's uh, the rest of the East. And uh, I mean, if we want to go and uh, host the tournament, we got to win these two and defend home court. And these are, all these games are big for us. I mean, if we want to do that and uh, hang banners. So, I mean, we got to keep just playing hard and practicing hard and keep trusting each other. All right, seven game win streak. I mean, we expect to win these games. I mean, these are games that I felt like we should have won. So. Um, you know, I'm not putting a whole lot of stock in the seven game winning streak. I mean, it's nice, it's good for the kids and good for the school, but we're not there yet. We got to keep winning. I'm not going to be satisfied until we've clinched the division. We're going to host a tournament, and then I'm not going to be satisfied until we win the tournament. So uh, we got a long ways to go. We got to get, keep getting better every day. We got to work. We got to work hard. We got two good teams coming in this week Ozarks and Trinity are both, uh, I mean, Ozarks and, and uh, Tyler are both very well coached, tough teams. They're going to be hard to guard. And we got to be ready. And then after that, the West is so even, and, and you know we got to be ready to go. So uh, we got to continue to get better. Um, but the kids are playing good. Caleb's been on a good streak, scoring quite a bit for us. It's tough to guard, tough matchup for teams. And uh, and you know just just getting into this conference play, you know the the routine of conference. We we got to establish that we're a tough team, and we're there. We're going to be there every game.